A ramp is a sloping surface joining two levels as at the entrance of a building or between floors of a building. Its primary purpose is to allow easy access to the facility to people of all abilities. A ramp is necessary when there is a difference in levels between the ground level and the floor level inside the facility. Constructing a ramp does not necessarily need excessive investment, but it only requires a good preparation and planning. If the plan or the drawing recommends that the gradient for the ramp should be 1 in 20, it means that the length for the ramp should not be less than 10 meters. And if the plan or the drawing recommends that the gradient for the ramp is 1 in 12, it means that the length for the ramp should not be less than 2 meters. Or if the plan or the drawing says 5% gradient for the ramp, it means that the length for the ramp should not be less than 10 meters. It's the same as 1 in 20. Landing areas should be provided at the top of the ramp and at the bottom of the ramp which should have a minimum floor space of 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters. The first thing that should come into our mind while setting out for a ramp is that the top landing should be on the same level as the floor level. The minimum width for public use is 1.2 meters, whereas the minimum width for residential use for the ramp is 900 millimeters. When constructing a longer ramp, paint areas where there are level changes. Consider providing a lower intermediate handrail for use by young children and wheelchair users. Let's take a look at an example of a ramp that we could construct using ordinary bricks, hardcore and concrete. We will build bricks from the floor level to the ground level at the sides of the ramp in a sloping direction. The next thing is backfilling with maram and doing a strong compaction to the area which we receive hardcore. The hardcore should not be more than 200 millimeters thick. We will spread sand properly on top of the hardcore, what we call sand blinding, to fill the voids in the hardcore. We will cover our hardcore with a DPC sheet, followed by a BRC reinforcement on top of the sheet. The next thing is shattering the sides of the ramp because we are going to cast concrete of around 75 millimeters thick or 75 millimeters high. The concrete mix will be one part of cement, two parts of sand and four parts of aggregates. We will then provide a cement sand screed on top of the concrete to receive a finish. If we are considering finishing using terrazzo, we will then put the strips cast terrazzo and grain provide a smooth surface finish. I will make a full video about the full process for casting terrazzo so don't miss it out. Hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out that full video. If you want to know more about ramps, search rapidrap.co.uk link in the description box.